Hey everybody, welcome to Airscrew Racing, an aerial combat racer where you can control weapons. This game is inspired from two racing games that I grew up with, Mario Kart and Diddy Kong Racing. I absolutely loved airplanes in Diddy Kong Racing, and so I made a racing game using airplanes because I think that they're just so fun and it was my favorite part. To One of the things I wanted to talk about though is the weapons in current combat racing games and arcade racing games like Mario Kart. That is the item pickups, and I wanted to have a, this game focus on items. My main goals were to reward the player for using items, to give players choice, and then to have items that are fun to use. Um, that first point, uh, reward the players for using them. If you think about the strategy behind racing games, when you're in first, you have a banana, you hold it behind you, and you just drive and drive and drive and hope that the minute that you lose that banana, you can grab another one before someone gets a shell. You're holding two buttons. You're holding the gas and you're holding the item. Or you hold on to it until the last second and then you fire it off at somebody and then you get a new box. And you don't, um, you don't play aggressive that way. Uh, it's, you know, it's a waiting game. And so what I wanted to do is give people the reward for using items. And so that is where I introduce this crafting idea. So when you start a game or when you're playing, you receive items based on time. After a small amount of time, you are given an option for a first item. And this basic item, um, you can take it now or you can wait for it to upgrade to a better item. And what that does is it gives you a choice where you can use the first item because of a situation or if the next item is better, or do you wait even longer for an even greater item? I've given a player a choice by giving them this timer. And I feel like it really speeds up the game and the feel of it because you have to make these decisions. The other thing that this does is it rewards the player for using an item. The minute you use it, you get another one. The second point is to give them a choice. For Airscrew Racing, I intentionally designed the crafter to display what item is available now or what you can wait for. And that's what really makes this game fun is this, this decision, this balance, and this rock, paper, scissors of items. And for the last goal that I have to making this game fun. That's where you come in. I am always looking for feedback and ways to improve the balance of the game and the weapons and the items and ensure that this game it reaches its fullest potential. For now, I do have a free demo for you to try out because I think it's important to get good feedback on what you guys think of these weapons. Are am I reaching these goals? Am I making the items fun? Am I giving you guys enough choice and am I rewarding you for getting to use these items? I really want people to enjoy racing games. And I feel like um, we're getting there. So thanks for your time. Really appreciate it.